knife do. More dope. Come and get your figs. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Night dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. God damn, is this hoe pretty? That's right. You know I never shit you. This is the iconic Spyderco Para 3 in XHP steel, rocking these absolutely stunning RG Custom Metalwork scales. Contour titanium, hexagonal pattern, milled pocket clip also matching that pattern. It is just exquisite. Now I've let the cat out the bag. That's right. I have let it be known that this is going to be my submission for the upcoming Knife Mod Mayhem competition. Hosted by yours truly, as well as Mr. Rolo from Rolshambo EDC and my partner in crime, one half of the Blade Cartel, Duty Low from Duty's Daggers. The deadline for, the, your, uh, for your submission is July 10th. And I believe we're doing the live stream, I think, on July 17th. Don't quote me on that. Just go to the website, which I will go ahead and put in the description. So you can um, either submit your knife uh, or you can at least um, do some of the voting. Now, there were four models for you people to choose from, from all of us to choose from. Uh, one of them was the pair of three. You also had the Shaman, uh, the Smock, and I believe the Yojimbo. Yo Jumbo, yo, yo, yeah, yo Jimbo, yeah. Uh, those are the four models you could choose from to mod. Uh, there's two brackets. There is a content creator bracket, which myself and those two gentlemen will be uh, will be in. And then there's a uh, general public bracket. There will be uh, prizes given out to the winners in the uh, general public bracket. And then there'll be nothing but fucking bragging rights for the uh, for the content creator bracket. Now, as great as this looks, and as good as all that sounds. That's not what we're here to talk about today, people. Not at all. Got a new batch of dope that came my way, and it's from Gecko Customs. And so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Okay, full disclosure, I, um, I had the privilege of handling this knife uh, recently before today at, uh, at Blade Show 2024. And um, first and foremost, Fantastic first offering from uh, Mr. Steven at Gecko Customs. Uh, we've got a high quality uh, sticker, which I'm always down for, and a COA. I did not even know they were coming with a COA, but that's not a big, uh, not a big difference, but it's just uh, interesting to see. Now, this is his first design, uh, the sticker ray, and these were actually OEM by Best Tech. Several variants to choose from. You've got prices as low as $395 and prices as high as 465. Now this is the uh, this is the middle of the pack. These come in at $425. Uh, we've got a single form of deployment, which is a D-shaped cutout. Uh, we've got a nice, I think they call this like a white storm carbon fiber inlay that is seamlessly done. I can ever so slightly feel it there, but I mean, it's, it's done exquisitely well. Uh, titanium inlays on both sides, milled pocket clip, right hand tip up. Uh, we've got titanium hardware. Now let's check this hoe out. Woo! Detent is dialed the fuck in. Now, now this, uh, aesthetically, this knife speaks to me. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous profile. Uh, we've got um, 7.25 as far as overall length. We're rocking 3.25 in this fantastic drop point apparatus. Magna Cum Laude is the steel of choice. Uh, they are running it at 62 to 63.5. And if you've been following along, Best Tech, ha Best Tech has been hitting the mark uh, on their heat treat. So that's good to know. Beautiful belt satin finish, full flat grind, 120,000 blade stock thickness. Add all that up and what do we got? She's a slicey hoe. Now we've got a nice generous finger choil so you can definitely accommodate that full purchase, no refund. Frame lock is the locking mechanism. 
they have given us a little chamfer uh, on both sides of the scales. So the chamfer on the show side is going to allow you to slide in rather easily. And then, of course, the other side is going to allow you for the disengagement. Now, typically, I don't like um, when the access is not given to me. You can see that both sides are actually uh, even. But those chamfers make the uh, disengagement very, very pleasant and um, very, very easy. Now, ergonomically, this feels great in the hand. No issues there. Uh, but I do have an issue, people. I do. And um, first off, let me start out by saying, you know, congratulations to this gentleman for, you know, bringing his knife to fruition. Um, all versions are available right now, according to his website. Uh, so you can pick and choose. And I think there's a reason for that. In my opinion, uh, and respectfully, I think this knife is grossly overpriced. Uh, don't want to be known as the price police, but God damn it, I spent a lot of money and um, yeah, I can feel I can speak on this. You know, in all fairness, prices have continued to rise and so I understand that. Uh, but the base model of this knife comes in at $395. Essentially, the same thing you see here, just minus the inlay. That's the only difference. So, you know, we'll call it 400, right? Uh, for the materials, Chinese OEM, I don't see it. And then let's go to the, uh, to the high end of the spectrum, which is 465. Uh, this one's in the middle. This one comes in at 425. Now, the only difference between this version and the $465 version is they're going to give you a, what they call a six shooter, uh, pivot. Uh, so essentially your, you know, your, your, um, not your barrel on the gun, but you know, where you put your rounds at. That's the, that's the difference. So, uh, for some reason there, what is the difference in price? My math is fucked up, but you know, what is that? 50 bucks, 60 bucks, some shit like that. Who knows what the fuck it is? You do the math. Uh, but yeah, so that's the only difference on that. I just can't get, be I just can't get behind this. You know, when, when I, when, when, when I handled this at blade show, I was blown away by it. I really was. I am today. It's, it, it is a great offering, but I think even at blade, I want to say they the base model was like 375 and you know I was like no I can't do it. Um and to give you a little bit of uh, of insight, I've even found some of these on the secondary down at 325. So you know the the market works itself out people, you know. Um I think the main reason why he still has these in stock is because of that price. You know, if these were more fairly priced, I would venture to say they sell out cuz this is a fantastic offering, man. Um, but I just can't, I just can't fuck with the price, man. Now, you know, something else that I wanted to point out, you know, the finger choil, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's going to give me a nice choke up spot. I would have preferred more of like a 50, 50. I just think it looks a little weird, a little odd to me, but Hey, I'm not a designer or a knife maker. So, you know, what, 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 what the fuck do I know? Right. All right. Now let's go ahead and put some knives up for some size comparison. Basically a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Now I'm gonna give you alternatives to this knife. Um, and let's start out like this. We're gonna go with the Miguron Moyaro. Now this one comes in, I think right around 200 bucks. You've got a nice drop point blades, very similar materials. Uh, we've even got contoured scales on the Miguron. Then we're gonna go with the um, Cerberus collaboration between Artisan and, his, and, uh, and Cerberus. That's going to be the Seder. That comes in at a whopping two hundred dollars. Uh, S ninety V micro mill titanium. Uh, so there you see that. Let's do a couple mo, shall we? How about a quiet carry? The cheat code to the knife game. Uh, we're gonna go with the nine. We've got a uh, contour titanium, fantastic knurling milling. We also have an inlay, magna cut for the steel, Taiwan made. These come in about 340, I believe. Maybe even 325, 340, I think, though. Then we're going to go with one of my favorite pickups this year. Also a knife OEM by Best Tech. Uh, and that's going to be the Devo Stout. Version 2. Don't get it fucked up. Uh, we've got a uh, Arctic carbon fiber inlay. Uh, we've got some nice angular milling. Titanium hardware. Vanex for, this, uh, for your steel. Nice hollow grind. These on pre-order were $350, and then if you got it after the pre-order, $375. And those are sold out. Take note on that. Let's do two mo. God damn it. Two mo. How about some Italian dope? Some of the finest. One of the, my best pickups this year. Uh, that's going to be the Giant Mouse GM11. 
Now, out of the knives I'm showing you today for comparisons, that's the most expensive. Uh, Italian made, that came in at 385. Very limited. There was only, I believe, 400 uh, worldwide as far as this configuration. They sold out in days. Uh, contour titanium, micro milling, saber grind. Um, we've got Vanek, or rather Magna Cut for the steel. I mean, goddamn, you tell me. And then last but certainly not least, got to give you a Riot offering. And we're going to go with my recent pickup from Blade Show, and that is the Matthew Christensen Design Chevron. We've got uh, carbon fiber, uh, titanium, Magna Cut for the steel, fantastic grind, uh, multiple forms of deployment, milled pocket clip. That came in at 320 so there you see the sick array up against those. Now, you know, I, I don't want this to come across as a hit piece, you know. I, I, I wish this gentleman well, um, but I just call it like I see it. You know, I've always told you guys, I'll never shit you. Uh, regardless if my, uh, my opinion on a knife is a popular opinion or an unpopular opinion, I'm going to tell you what the fuck I feel and how I feel about things. That's just the way it is here at Knife Dope Studios. Uh, but one more time for your viewing pleasure. The Gecko Custom Sikare. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Do you feel this knife is overpriced? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!